You are now recognized for five minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair, and thank you for your leadership in ensuring that this committee and this Congress is focused in on saving more American lives on our roadways. The alarming increase in traffic fatalities over the last two years is a wake-up call for all of us. And as much as it is important to highlight the challenges we face throughout our nation, the reality is that the problem is much worse in Indian country. Traffic accidents, traffic accidents are the leading cause of death for American Indians. They are twice as likely to be killed in a traffic crash than the rest of our country's population. For Native children, the statistics are even more alarming. Traffic fatality rates are two to five times higher for those under the age of 19 than other racial and ethnic groups. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that American Indians are especially at risk for fatal car crashes in the four corner regions in the Southwest. That's a rural area, but from 2013 to 2019, there were 583 traffic fatalities there. That is truly shocking. More than three quarters of the fatalities were Native Americans. Nearly one in five were a pedestrian or a bicyclist. As we work to improve roadways throughout our country, we cannot forget our tribal communities. With historic investments in the bipartisan infrastructure law, we are beginning to reverse decades of underinvestment in our tribal communities. Just yesterday, the Department of Transportation awarded nearly $9 million to 51 tribes to improve roadway safety, including nearly $1 million grant for the Navajo Nation. That's a good start, but much work lies ahead to truly make our roadways safer in tribal communities. Ms. Clegg, based on your work with tribal nations in Idaho, what, do you, what can we do to focus more attention and resources on tribal roadway safety? Thank you, Representative. I appreciate the question. I've worked with a number of tribes in, Boise, in the um, state of Idaho and the city of Boise has instituted a program called the Return of the Boise Valley People, where we meet once a year with all of the five tribes that used to populate our region. I think that's the key, coordination. When I've worked with the tribal communities in other parts of the state, what I've found is that there are county governments, the tribal government, the state DOT, and often a city government, all with competing interests and competing ideas about how to improve safety. I've not seen great coordination in those uh, conversations, although it's getting better. I think the need that, um, for instance, in the city of Lapway, I worked uh, on, a, on a project for safe routes to school. There was a proposal to build a housing development across the highway, which would require children crossing the highway to get to school. I recommended that they not build housing on that side of the highway, if they could avoid it, they ended up not doing that. So having the technical assistance to help them figure out what is the right solution, but also having the city, the county, the state DOT and the tribe working together in that uh, particular situation to come up with a coordinated answer and a coordinated strategy really made a difference. So if I had a suggestion, it would be um, require that kind of cooperation on a regular basis and make sure that it leads to a coordinated solution and not a top-down one. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Wilson or Mrs. Will Williams, uh, maybe same question. What can we do to focus more attention resources on tribal roadway safety? Congressman, uh, great question. I think this speaks directly to the uh, ranking members question around data and the transparency of what's available. Uh, state DOTs provide local technical assistance and we work with federal highways to uh, coordinate for those local road assistance programs and highway safety initiatives that will benefit roads uh, adjacent to or near uh, tribal lands. I have experience in Louisiana working with Cachada and other tribes to make improvements and making the best possible decisions for crossing signals, uh, as well as access to other governmental services. But I think it's gonna begin with having a real transparent, uh, coordinated conversation to provide meaningful solutions that we don't necessarily just direct, 
And I think it's important for us also to be sensitive to the cultural uniquenesses of what happens in tribal communities uh, such that we can be respectful and actually uh, get some things done to, to reduce those numbers. I've run out of time, so Ms. Williams, maybe you can answer the, Ms. Williams, answer the question maybe in writing after the hearing. Thank you so much. I, I yield back.